Hello, baseball fans. Hope everybody's doing awesome out there. Staying safe. If you haven't liked or subscribed, please do so. Still a new YouTuber in a lot of ways, so the best way you can help me out is by hitting that like and subscribe and give away prizes to subscribers just to say thank you for watching so you'll get in on that. And we got one coming up soon, so you definitely want to hit subscribe so you can get in on the action. And talking about the action, the MLB postseason is getting ready to start up soon. And one of the things we need to talk about is Toronto Blue Jays. And we got some free agents, well, probably leaving Toronto, definitely going to be wearing different colored jerseys next season. And the biggest one, the easiest one to call that will be leaving Toronto is nobody else but Matt Chapman. That's right. And I know people are screaming we want Matt Chapman to stay, especially that defense. I don't think we've seen somebody that stellar on third base for Toronto for some time. This guy can rock it, and that's why he's going to get paid and really overpaid and outside of the wallets for Toronto and certainly not something that Toronto can invest in or really should. we got a lot of other areas like Vladimir Guerrero, maybe, and dealing with Alejandro Kirk if he regains success. We have extensions, and Matt Chapman isn't one of them. This guy's probably going to easily get over $175 million, And it's not his uh, offense that's going to get him paid. It's certainly that defense. But talking about his offense, this guy was hot for Toronto starting off this season. And then kind of, I don't want to say tithered or withered away. But certainly regressed back to the old Matt Chapman form. Where he hit an average of 240 with 17 home runs. 54 ribbies, a 754 OPS, and an impressive 4.4 war. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, with those offensive numbers so low, why is his war so high? Because he's probably the best, if not one of the top three best defensive third basemen in all of Major League Baseball. And that's why he's going to command that six to eight year contract at at least $20 million a year. Very, very much an overpay, especially for somebody who could have injuries as he gets older and somebody whose offense could regress even worse down to 220, God forbid, even worse than Dalton Varsho. Yeah, we already got somebody that we've invested in who's got low offense, high defense in Dalton, and we really got to ride that out. Hopefully we can get some better return on that trade. That's certainly another vlog for another day. I know Jays fans are upset if you're seeing what Arizona's doing out there. But nonetheless, back to Matt Chapman, certainly going to walk for the Jays. Definitely going to be over $175 million bucks. Don't believe me? Go check out Alexander Bogart's deal he got last season. That's right. Matt Chapman's going to be paid, and it's not going to be by the Blue Jays. In fact, it might even be by the Yankees. Watch out, Toronto. Let me know what you think in the comments below, though. Do you think Matt Chapman's going to walk? And if so, do you think he's going to get paid? Uh, we'll do some free agent predictions down in a couple vlogs in a few weeks. But this is the easiest one to call for Toronto. Matt Chapman out. But on the bright side, check out the minor leagues because we got our Elvis Martinez. He's ready to come up. This guy can hit. His defense will grow as he grows. He's going to be a rookie. But that's who's going to be taking over third base. You can throw Kevin Biggio in there for a little bit. But it's really going to be our Elvis Martinez job to lose in spring training. So watch out. Let's hope this young kid gets hot. And maybe has a spark like Moreno did out in the desert. Again, let me know what you think in the comments below. Always appreciate to hear what you guys have to say. We'll ramble on soon. Hit that like and subscribe. And stay safe.